Decoding your dog's body language. Dogs have been our loyal companions for thousands of years, and they have a rich language all their own. Today, we're unleashing canine communication and decoding your dog's body language. When your dog is happy or content, you'll see a relaxed body, a wagging tail, and maybe even a happy pant. Wagging tail. A wagging tail can indeed signify a happy dog. But the wagging can communicate more nuanced feelings based on the movement's speed and direction. For instance, a slow, relaxed wag typically means that a dog is content and at ease, while a fast wag where the dog's tail is wagging so fast that their hips are shaking often indicates that the dog is very happy or excited. Pay attention to the height of the wag as well. A neutral, mid-level wag indicates a relaxed dog, while a high wag can show excitement or, in some cases, a display of dominance. Relaxed body. A happy dog's body will generally be relaxed and free of tension. You might notice them lounging comfortably in their favorite spots or displaying a gentle, open demeanor towards other pets and people. When moving, their movements will seem easy and effortless, not stiff or anxious. This relaxation extends to their face too, with soft eyes and a relaxed jaw, possibly open and panting, rather than a rigid, tense facial expression. Playful behavior. Playful behavior is a definite sign of a happy dog. Engaging in play, either with humans or other dogs, is a way for dogs to build social bonds, burn off energy, and have fun. If your dog is initiating play, such as bringing you a toy or engaging in play bows, where they lower their front end and raise their back end, they're likely feeling happy and sociable. The frequency and duration of play can also be indicators of a dog's overall well-being. Happy panting. Dogs pant to cool down, but they also pant when they're happy or excited. This kind of panting should appear relaxed and natural, not strained or distressed. It's often accompanied by a lolling tongue. Bright, alert eyes. Dogs express much of their emotions through their eyes. A happy dog will have eyes that are bright and alert, not squinted or averted. The area around their eyes will be relaxed. However, be aware that a hard stare can signal tension or aggression, so it's essential to read this signal in context with their overall body language. Affectionate behavior. Dogs often display their happiness by showing affection towards their favorite humans. They may nuzzle against you, give you gentle kisses, or lean into your hand when you pet them. Some dogs may display clingy behavior, wanting to be close to you, which can be a sign of their contentment and trust in you. However, every dog has a different comfort level with physical contact, so always respect their boundaries. Fear in dogs can be seen when they tuck their tails, lower their bodies, and pin their ears back. Ears back. When a dog is feeling fearful, one common sign is that their ears will pull back or lay flat against their head. This is a defensive move aimed at protecting their ears. However, the degree to which a dog can move its ears can depend on their breed and individual personality. Tails tucked. A dog's tail can be very expressive, and a tail tucked between the legs signals fear or anxiety. This is a submissive gesture that means they're trying to make themselves smaller and protect their vital areas. It's often accompanied by other signs of fear, like lowered body posture and avoidance behaviors. Bodies lowered. A fearful dog will often lower their body in an attempt to appear smaller. They're trying to avoid attention or conflict. This can sometimes lead to a full belly up position, which is a highly submissive gesture. But more commonly, you'll see a lowered stance, with their weight shifted back as if preparing to run away. Whale eyes. Whale eyes is a term used when a dog shows the whites of their eyes in a half moon shape. This usually happens when they're looking to the side without turning their head and is often a sign of discomfort or fear. Avoidance behaviors. If a dog is feeling fearful, they might display avoidance behaviors. This could include turning their head away, backing up, or trying to move away from the object or person causing their fear. They might also avoid eye contact. Shaking or trembling. Fear or anxiety can cause a dog to shake or tremble. 
This is a physiological response and might be more apparent in smaller or short-haired breeds. Lip licking or yawning. While these behaviors might seem normal, in a stressful situation, they can indicate fear or stress. These are self-soothing behaviors, similar to when humans might bite their nails or fidget when nervous. Always remember that context is crucial when interpreting these signals. For instance, some dogs might tap their tail while playing, and yawning doesn't always signify stress. It's the combination of these signals and understanding your dog's normal behavior that will give you the most accurate insight into their emotional state. Aggression can be signaled by a stiff body, growls, and showing teeth. It's essential to recognize and respond appropriately to these signs. Growling and snarling. These are vocal signals that dogs use to communicate a threat. Growling can range from a low rumble to a threatening snarl that includes showing teeth. It's crucial never to punish a dog for growling. It's their way of letting us know they're uncomfortable. If the growling is removed without dealing with the underlying issue, a dog might move into biting without any warning. Showing teeth. When a dog pulls back their lips and displays their teeth, this is a clear warning sign. This can be accompanied by a growl or snarl, but the visual sign alone is a signal of aggression or extreme discomfort. Stiff body posture. A dog's body language can provide essential signals. If a dog's body is stiff and rigid, this is often a sign of aggression. They might stand tall with their ears and tail up to make themselves appear larger and more intimidating. Staring. An intense, focused stare at another dog, person, or object can indicate that a dog is feeling aggressive. This is different from the relaxed, friendly eye contact your dog might make with you. It's a hard stare without any blinking. Lunging and snapping. Lunging or snapping without making contact is often a warning signal from a dog. It's their way of saying, stay back, or I may bite. Biting. A bite is the last resort for a dog. This is a clear sign of aggression or fear, and it usually happens after other warning signals have been ignored or missed. As with other behaviors, it's essential to read these signals in the context of the situation and the individual dog's personality. Always prioritize safety if you believe a dog is showing signs of aggression, and consult with a professional dog trainer or behaviorist as needed. Playful dogs often display the play bow, front end down, back end up. They may also bounce around energetically. Play bow. One of the most distinct signs of a dog wanting to play is the play bow. This involves the dog lowering their front end so their chest is close to the ground while their rear end is up in the air. This position often signals to other dogs or humans that any subsequent actions are intended in good fun and not as aggression. Bouncy movements. Bouncy movements, where a dog leaps around in an exaggerated way, often mean they are in a playful mood. They may jump from one side to another, pounce towards you, or dart off in a different direction. These movements can seem uncoordinated, and that's part of the fun for them. Wagging tail. While a wagging tail can signify various emotions, a certain kind of wag often indicates playfulness. If the dog's tail is wagging rapidly in a helicopter motion, around and around, rather than just back and forth, it's likely they're ready to play. Mouth open and relaxed. Dogs often keep their mouths open when they're relaxed or playful. They might look like they're smiling, with their tongue hanging out a bit. This is very different from the aggressive bearing of teeth. Initiating games. If a dog brings you their favorite toy or starts a game of chase or tug of war, it's a clear sign they're feeling playful. Dogs may have different preferences for games, so if your dog is initiating, it means they're inviting you to engage in a play session. Nudging or pawing. Some dogs may nudge or paw at their chosen playmate to initiate play. This can be aimed at another dog, a human, or even another species. It's their way of saying, hey, let's have some fun. As always, context is essential when interpreting these signals, and it's crucial to understand that not all dogs play in the same way. 
Some might prefer a game of fetch, while others enjoy wrestling or chasing games. Understanding your dog's play preferences will help you engage in play that is fun and satisfying for them. Dogs use calming signals to show peace and diffuse tension. These can include yawning, turning their head away, or licking their nose. Turning away or yawning. Dogs often use these signals to indicate that they're feeling stressed or uncomfortable or to diffuse a potentially tense situation. They might turn their head or entire body away from whatever is causing their unease. Yawning, especially when it's not related to being tired, is another calming signal dogs use. Nose licking. Dogs may rapidly flick their tongues out in a licking motion, usually directed at their own noses. This quick, subtle movement often indicates stress or discomfort. It's a sign that the dog is trying to calm themselves down or diffuse tension. Sniffing. If a dog suddenly takes a great interest in sniffing the ground or the air, especially in a context that doesn't make sense, like during a tense encounter with another dog, they're likely using sniffing as a calming signal. It's another way dogs try to alleviate stress or diffuse potential conflict. Slow movements. When a dog starts moving slowly, seemingly without reason, it can be their way of displaying calm to diffuse a tense situation. They're indicating that they're not a threat and are trying to calm others in their environment as well. Play bow. Though typically associated with playful behavior, a play bow can also be a calming signal in some contexts. If a situation is becoming too heated, a dog might offer a play bow to express peaceful intentions and diffuse the tension. Sitting or lying down. In a tense situation, a dog might sit or lie down, even turning their back on the source of their stress. This is a potent calming signal indicating that the dog is not a threat. Remember, these calming signals are often subtle and they can be easy to miss if you're not paying close attention. Understanding these signals can greatly improve your communication with your dog, helping you to better respond to their needs and emotions. Signs of stress can include pacing, whining, and even shedding more than usual. Pacing or restlessness. When a dog is feeling stressed, they may start pacing around and seem unable to settle. They might circle a specific area or wander aimlessly. This restlessness often shows that they're feeling anxious and don't know how to alleviate their stress. Excessive shedding. Some dogs may shed more than usual when they're stressed. You might notice this when you take them to the vet or during thunderstorms, for instance. This is a physiological response to stress, similar to how humans might sweat when nervous. Changes in body language. A stressed dog might show changes in body language, like holding their ears back or tucking their tail. They might appear smaller, trying to make themselves less noticeable. They may also shake or tremble, another physiological response to stress. Loss of appetite. Just like humans, dogs might lose their appetite when they're feeling stressed or anxious. If you notice your dog isn't eating as much as usual or seems uninterested in food, it might be due to stress. Avoidance behaviors. A stressed dog might show avoidance behaviors. They might try to hide, leave the room, or otherwise put distance between themselves and the source of their stress. Excessive licking or chewing. Dogs might start licking or chewing themselves, other objects, or even people excessively when they're feeling stressed. This can be a self-soothing behavior, similar to when humans might bite their nails or fidget when nervous. Remember, just like humans, every dog is unique and may show stress in different ways. The key is to know your dog well and notice when their behavior changes or seems off. This will allow you to identify potential stressors and help your dog manage their stress effectively. Understanding your dog's body language can bring you closer to your furry friend and help ensure their happiness and well-being. Thanks for joining us in Decoding Canine Communication. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into your dog's world.